Are you interested in getting great detail from an FDM 3D printer? Then this is the video for you. Okay, first things first, we'll go to the Ultimaker and push preferences as usual. We'll go to printers, and then we'll go to machine settings, where we're just going to make a simple change. And we're going to put, instead of our standard nozzle, I don't know what you guys have, I have a .6 nozzle, but I am going to change it for .2. And that is the simplest change that we're going to do here. And uh, now we are going to make a couple changes here, in terms of layer height. What you want to do is usually print at this one. Now, you could go for 0.1, but 0.15 is going to work just fine. And line width, 0.2, I like to go with like uh, 1.8. 0.18, that usually works with me. And uh, yes, I am aware about this orange right here. And uh, this right here, you're going to want to change a bit due to the fact that it's going to be so many layers. And, uh, well, first of all, we need to show what we're going to print. So I'm going to go on my files right here. And uh, we'll go to the downloads. And uh, I have an assortment of files I'm thinking about printing. But for now, we're going to go with the Mario one. Now, this little guy right here would probably take maybe 30 minutes with a standard nozzle. However, we are using a different nozzle right here. All right, 10% infill. You know what? Let's fix this up because some of you are going to want to know how to do it with the standard thing. We're going to push prepare. And in a moment, we're going to see just how long it takes with a 0.2 nozzle. And for this, it's going to take an hour and one minute. Now, that's not too bad. Assuming that we use regular supports, which I'm going to test right now because, yes, this is going to need some supports. Alright, we're going to prepare that and see what we get. So that will be, giving it some time, 1 hour and 25 minutes. Still a long time. Alright, so I went ahead and printed the Mario model, but I actually wanted to test it, so I made it even smaller than the model that was on Kira. Here, I'm trying to take off the supports, and let me tell you right now, it is a little difficult because I'm trying to avoid breaking off the tiny parts that were printed on the Mario model. Right there, I'm struggling to get it off because, well, it's really stuck on there. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pause it a bit. Yeah, there we go. And there it is, the little Mario model. This thing is really small, so here's a comparison of what it looks like compared to another thing I printed. Here we have the Punisher, which I saw on Thingiverse, and uh, I'm going to put the name of the man that designed this because this is actually incredible. And one thing I noticed here is that I don't think that a 0.4 nozzle can get this detail even if it tried. This is really small, just to tell you guys right now. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to focus the camera right there. Yeah, there we go. This is really tiny. I mean, look at my thumb compared to the model. The little lines that make up the skull, that's really impressive. Here, this was actually something that I want to talk about. Uh, I forgot that my nozzle had some orange filament in it still, so that's what you're seeing there. Here we have the hand, which was really incredible to me. The detail was really impeccable. It's just so tiny and fragile. And then finally, we have the Punisher's head, which I decided to print. And uh, yeah, it looks amazing. That's going to do it for today's video. And if you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos to help you guys out in these kinds of situations. Take care now, and see you in the next video.